today we're going to talk about how to spike your IV primary bag. First of all, what you're going to do, and you can do this with no gloves on, you just need to clean your hands. You can do this in the workroom before you take it down to the patient's room. Uh, you'll need to do this if you're going to hook it up to the patient's IV prior to getting the IV started. If they already have an IV started and it's hooked to a saline lock, then you can go ahead and do this and start the IV and then go down and do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some tubing, which should say primary set on it. And your primary set is going to be quite a bit longer than a secondary set. You're going to have a couple of different ports on it, and then you're going to have a little white thing in the center that's a filter. So we're going to unwind this tubing. Make sure that you don't let the tubing hit the ground because you don't want to contaminate either of the ends because both of these ends are going to be considered sterile. So go ahead and get your tubing unwound. Then you're going to find a primary bag based on the doctor's orders. What we're going to use is normal saline. We're going to open this, take it out of the container that it's in, check the bag by gently squeezing it to make sure that it doesn't have any holes in it. Look at the expiration date, and this one says March of 14, and then also hold it up and look for clarity. Make sure that there's nothing in it, no sediment, no cloudiness, anything. Make sure that the bag is in good shape. So now we're ready to spike this bag with our tubing. The first thing that you want to do with your tubing is you'll want to find your roller clamp. Your roller clamp looks like this. It has a roller on it, which is why it's called a roller clamp. And you want to close this. If you do not close your roller clamp when you spike this bag, all of your fluid is going to run out. So make sure you close the roller clamp. The next thing we're going to do is look at the two different ports on your bag. You have one that has a needle port on it, that's for injections, the other one is for spiking. So open this one, and you gotta pull that off. Do not touch this, this is sterile. Then you're gonna undo the lid on your spike. Do not touch this, this is sterile also. The spike goes into the hole, and you kinda twist and gently push as you're doing this. And then once you have it in there secure, then you can turn the bag upside down put it on your pole and so that's called spiking your tubing. Now since this tubing is completely filled with air what we need to do is go ahead and let our solution run through. This little filter here when you fill this you need to flip your filter upside down and that way it will allow air bubbles to catch in it more effectively. So before I open my roller clamp and let this start running through I want to gently squeeze this chamber just squeeze it and fill it to about halfway full and then I want to flip this filter upside down and then gently open my roller clamp. And as this fluid goes through, once it goes through the filter, you can let it go. And I'm going to let this go all the way down to the end of my tubing. And once it gets there, you'll be able to see it and you can see it in here. Just this, if I open this, will start to drip. But if you open it, make sure you don't contaminate it. If I open that, then this is going to drip. Okay. Then I'm going to close my roller clamp because I'm finished. Double check my tubing. Make sure I don't have any air in it anywhere because you don't want a bunch of air bubbles going into your patient. And once I have that done, my primary is spot. I'm ready to start my IV and hook it up. 